All right, hey, welcome back everybody. Today we're here with Gwendolyn and Carter and they're gonna give us a tour of their Honda Element which they live in full time. Honda Element life. So, how long into this do I wait to say this is where the magic happens? Ah. I guess it's oh, man. Yay. This it is does. our Element. This is our amazing Jackery, which we definitely could not live oh my gosh full time on the road without not sponsored by Jackery. I just love them so much and anytime I have a question they get a hold of me really really fast and this thing is a beast. Yeah for anyone who doesn't know very good portable battery. Yeah that, we're so uh, happy with it. Has USB plugins. Is as it well. a 1000? Um, uh, I believe so right? Yeah 1000 yeah, Pro. Yeah 1000 Pro which means when we plug it in like if I plug it in when I'm at the gym, by the time I'm done working out, it's at full charge. Really? And a it's full charge easy. will last you, I mean, depending what you're using it for, it can. Yeah. We don't run like a coffee maker or anything. Like we use it to charge our personal devices and like our, our laptops and stuff like that. So. Boop, boop, boop. But yeah, a charge will last us Sorry like quite a while. And, um, and it's really like Gwendolyn was saying, it's really easy to easy and fast to charge it when you do have access to like a, a wall plug and whatever. Yeah, we so. originally got this one because the measurements made sense for it with our sleeping platform. Yeah. It's so perfect. that's definitely something. I just to... remembered too, we haven't been like driving with it a lot, but you can charge it in the car. Yeah, the, like the, while you're the, driving. The adapter or whatever, so it's like, um, but yeah, that thing's great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So is that, is that the F-150 center console? Yeah, uh, a friend noticed that it would fit in here perfectly and alerted me as to its presence on Facebook Marketplace. And so this is where we keep everything that we just need readily on hand. And um, it fits perfectly with the emergency brake down here. That is like actually a perfect fit. It's a perfect yeah, fit. Yeah, it's snug, right? Well, I, di I didn't even, there are L brackets uh, that the sender like very thoughtfully already put in the bottom for me because he knew I was going to put attach it into my car and I never even finished bolting them in because it's so, such a tight fit. I wow. mean, yeah, so that's wild. Yeah, no bolting needed. Yeah, so this is your platform. That's cool. So it just kind of rests on these little like shelves right here. Yeah, that's and amazing. it's like really, yeah, so there's, really there's um, if you if I move this, you might be able to see it. All of our um, skates. <laughs> there's some bags. Oh yeah, you can see it down here. We can show you um, in the back too. I don't know with low light. Yeah, there you go. This um, this piece can spin and move a little bit, and it it uh, the mechanic who set it up he he like there's like a, a dowel on the inside of this piece right here that um, that sits down into the actual. Uh, some piece of the the car itself so that it's like a really sturdy hole mm. so there's i think two or three of those and so they're like vertical uh support places and then i think he set it up to where there's like zip ties that use tension to hold the whole like sides together so it's like those vertical pieces that support sort of more of the down weight and then pieces that are tied into the 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 holes and framework of the car that keep the sides sort of steady that's awesome so yeah it moves a little bit but it's like because i think there there's there are some screws and things to keep some of it together but a lot of it is just held together by tension yeah that's amazing they even use like the, the headrest here to right hold this in place it's like such a unique setup you guys yeah have. shout out to b i can show you in the back here what it's actually made out of oh yeah there's that's nothing also very bolted cool or screwed into the car whatsoever he zip ties if you see here you can this is actually from a Seattle, this is a reclaimed materials cool. from a Seattle construction site. Um, and yeah, I mean, it supports us fully. That's amazing. Yeah, here we have Reflectix. Yes, yeah, this it's is amazing. Solid. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Um, so we use Reflectix when we sleep at night. And pretty much everything that we have down here, like, is measured out to fit under the sleeping platform. So yeah. we have a. a see, what are those? Uh, these are my daily my daily drivers, and then we have his on the other side. Yay. Do you guys do like four and stuff? Uh, he definitely does. I try. I'll show you. I'll show you one of each. I have uh, I have two pairs of rollerblades at the moment, so I have one set that I'll do tricks in at skate parks and places around town, and then a set with bigger wheels that I'll ride around. We'll ride around at beaches and different trails and just random streets and wherever sidewalks just 
rinks, all kinds of places. I'm gonna overlay some videos of you guys skating right cool. now. That's so cool. Yeah. So is that what you guys do? You just kind of travel around and like skate? Yeah. It's a lot of our time for sure. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Uh, I mostly uh, figure skate on, on my skates, but I recently, after watching him and we went to the blading and quad cup right over here in Santa Ana, I got inspired to try aggressive skating. So I just put these blocks and Whoa. these skateboard wheels on so I'm now a baby aggressive skater and uh, yeah, it's been really fun. And now we live somewhere where we can, I, I can learn these things, practice every day, as opposed to just when it's sunny with the rarity that it's sunny in the Pacific Northwest. Yeah, yeah. Uh, every day is a good day here almost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, definitely a lot of, a lot of skating and um, that's definitely a component to like how we pack out the car. Yeah. And like what. This yeah, is just even like my for. main bag is, this is just the different wheels, oh, you pads. Cool. Most of what is in the roof box right now are like extra parts, more wheels, tools for our skates, more pads. It takes a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so where do you guys, do you keep your clothes? We have my Honda Fit that we kind of between the roof box and the lower storage space. I think right now we're able to kind of keep like my clothes basically in that car, yours basically in this one. These are mine right here, and just two matching Osprey suitcases back to back. Oh wow, yeah. look at that. And they fit like perfectly in that little spot too. Totally. totally. And smart. we've had a lot of arrangements with like one or both of them. And yeah, and they're really great because they have so many places with little grips, you know? Like they, they work perfectly in this, this space we have. Yeah, but also like this guy travel. Like mm -hmm. you've got like, your backpack right there, it's just, like a perfect little fit. We've been talking about, uh, since we have the freedom, thanks to the element of not having a place and not having rent, about taking a short skate trip to Europe together. Yeah. Um, right? Like, so, cool. so I would just, we would just like take each take one of those and put the single pair of skates that we choose to take and then the clothes that we need and call it good and park this with a friend. That's so yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's on seems, the dock. It seems achievable. It's just, yeah. It's on the horizon. It's somewhere. on the horizon. Yeah. So how do you guys cook? How do you get water? Like, how does that work? Water. So we're lucky because gym, I mean, th we all know gym memberships are the key, right? right? Water bottle refill stations. We have water actually. There's one here, one here. And on the other side, there are some places yeah, where here, it's like, oh, you can, you, know, like you can wedge water bottles. If you're bottles. familiar with elements, you know, I mean, you are, but like, yeah, there's like little areas for um i keep my yoga mat there too yeah, <laughs> yeah totally like store some things then fill the fill the space so you don't drop things down there but yeah there's like little nooks and crannies that we're able to keep water like in the front and back of the car so that like whether we're sleeping and we're like where's the water or we're in the front or something there's there's a few on hand you yeah know? for cooking so this is honestly the thing that has like besides the heat would motivate us most to get a van is that like that is what we spend the most money on is food and eating out because we're not we're not cooking we've never been the stove top in the back of the element just because we have been in such like densely populated areas we don't want to be on the side of the street like yeah. cooking you know yeah. and so, now and now we have like you know um like uh refrigerators at, at my work so like we do have access to somewhere that we could store some food and heat it up later so there's like a tiny bit more of that happening, but for the moment we've been like, yeah, yeah like you said. it's more money right now for us to buy ice for a Yeti cooler than it is. Yeah, to, it's to sad, just, but yeah. So that'll be one of the things is just like biting the bullet when we do get a van and getting like a real cooler, that, like an electric one that we can plug in and stuff. And mm -hmm. I, we know it'll be a lot of money up front, but that will save so much money immediately. Like we just both crave some like scrambled eggs just something simple so bad you know what i mean yeah yeah so that'll that'll be really good when that happens but um you guys are hungry after this i'll make some eggs oh you're <laughs> rad <laughs> yeah thank god right now i've been uh using uh a meal prep place that is amazing um and knows about our lifestyle and everything and um it's just great and I go in there and it's really, really affordable and it's all really clean food that's like homemade and um, black market meal prep, man. Everyone go wow. there. It's so yeah. good. Yeah, because uh, you're, you're a weightlifter too. Yeah, right? yeah, I can't miss like half of this. 
is protein. Days for days. And it is protein. <laughs> <laughs> and it, you know, it takes, it takes washing. Thank, thank you to the gym for letting me wash my protein stuff there. Uh, yeah. So you guys have um, extra storage up top, it looks like? Yes. Yeah. Do you have the, the key, baby? Oh, yeah. That's where the gear is at. Yeah, so a lot of skate stuff. So this, these are our pillows. We put them in a stuff sack in the mornings. We have a bunch of like tattooing stuff that we bought, gloves and stuff up here. Um, this is an extra blanket. We've got the laundry detergent up here. Another stuff sack on the other side that has like a squishy down comforter, which it's like starting to be too hot for, but we really needed up until like just honestly a week or two ago. We needed it pretty bad. Then um, a bag with my other pair of skates. And um, yeah, a box of extra wheels and parts. <laughs> yeah, lots of first aid uh, supplies because we both get hurt pretty, I'm sure. pretty oh. regularly. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yes, it's amazing. It's the 16 foot and it's like the perfect size. Yeah. Um, and yeah, worth every penny. I have totally. The toolie up on mine. Yeah. yeah. It's a little too big, I think. Oh, really? Yeah, so yeah it is it's, long. It's meant for like skis and stuff. But yeah. yeah. Yeah, this one's great and it opens from both sides. It took a while to get used to that, but now we're pros. What? Yeah, yeah it, it it's perfectly. Right now it's got the reflectics on this side, yeah, but like we put uh those up for total privacy. It's pretty like for for us it's pretty good. You, your guys' setup is legit. <laughs> it's like legit. How tall are you, Carter? Um like five seven or eight maybe oh, or, or maybe like six i don't know something yeah. like that you're a perfect fit dude like right here you got yeah a ton of we both like are yeah hopping in <laughs> yeah oh <laughs> <laughs> did i just kick you in the face okay. that's really funny that we did oh, that but yeah we've kind of uh had different periods of rotating being on either side or whatever but yeah. i'd say we both like tend to fit pretty like you know from the front it's like i can I can lay down with my head down and not ever have to worry about my feet touching the uh, yeah. the seat in front. When that dual fans very very important. Yes, yes which, which we USB have, which is part of why the jackery is really helpful because yeah. we we can charge them inside when we can, but then if we can't, the jackery helps out. We do a lot of like putting up all the reflectix and then setting up a laptop in the front and laying back and kicking back like this and watching things nice. in full lounge mode. And when it's chill enough, you know, you can like do the like crack door like yes. propped on itself thing yes get, we like, took a, a great a nap going. by the ocean yesterday with the doors that was dope <sighs> and the smell and the sound of the waves it was great yeah did best guys, nap did you guys know that you can um open this up all the way totally or oh, yeah. maybe you not mean more all than the way this? yeah you can take it all the way off oh. but it's really hard to go back on isn't no, it it's not. What? oh it's designed to go on and off. Okay. yes <laughs> when it gets really hot you guys can open it up oh yeah. that's okay, so helpful you. that's helpful. gonna save us yeah wow oh and then here like you know right here where the window pops up like there's like i said there's the the these covers under that are adding a little bit of height but pretty much like both of us can can sit up not like in any like truly comfortable way but you're able to and then over here it's a little wider as well so like in terms of having periods where we'll like sit up but like we're we're spending time in here like when we're ready to lay down or yeah. we're sitting like so it's kind of like yeah the sitting up is short-lived and then we're just laying down and yeah and uh what year is this oh five oh, oh five uh all will drive oh feel yeah well, yes all, all three of us Oh, nice, oh, really? Nice. I didn't very know cool. that, Rad. I think, I think 05 is the best year. I was very glad to, to know that when we were coming down because it was like some snow and ice potential as we left Seattle, and uh, it was nice to be like, okay, we've got a little more help. Yeah, do you guys have like any uh, other like interior modifications up front? Um, I don't think so. I don't think so. In fact, I think our only other modification are the struts. Like, well, let me kind of see the struts. Yeah, 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 these. Just because so like a lot of time, honestly, we spend sitting back here working on our skates or hanging out and putting our skates on. And so like we'll have the speaker going here that we have hanging like while we do our thing. But every time we'd roll up, we would hit our heads on this. Um, so we just it was the easiest, cheapest fix from Amazon. 
got longer struts, so now Oh, I don't even know if I, like, experienced I it. I think that was a pre-Carter yeah. thing that I did. I kept hitting my head, so now me with my skates on can clear this. I, <laughs> I need to do that because I hit my head all the time. Yeah, the yeah. only other thing we did was this, actually, too. Oh, yeah, this we don't Shout use anymore? Shout out to Stefan. I miss you. Stefan yeah. drilled this it's so like, that we can pull it to the side and open the back from the inside. Yeah, yeah. We, we had a time where doing it, this whole piece came off, and so then we haven't in a while. Because we were like because trying to dig in with our nails and like open and close it. It was like we a like, moment okay. where we were like, can we get this thing closed again? So yeah. we've since not done that. But while it worked, it was cool. And if you could find a way to do it a little more steady, it's like a pretty cool experience to like sleep in here. Like we've slept on some mountain areas where like you open this up in the morning and you're like head out the back it's, it's like narnia it's, out your back window and yeah i thought for a while we were talking about even putting like a skate truck on there as like a handle that'd be cool but then it's this is about around. where your head is with your pillow and so we didn't want to accidentally like put a handle Take there out and space hit. And all and yeah i'm sure you have experienced this too you're 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 also getting concussions almost daily Oh yeah, with the side. Element, okay, right? was, that's, you read my mind. You I, hit your head on that a lot. I wanted to talk about that. Can we show everyone the worst? Thing yeah, totally. Like, be careful not to actually do it to yourself. Oh my god. Every time. Every time. This is uh, the, the number one thing I do not like. It's this thing right here, right? That's fucking. Yeah, yeah. Bad. Yeah. It every time, man. Every time. Yeah. yeah, you'll be, you'll be doing your thing down here. And then you'll come up, I don't want to do it, yeah, right. and hit it going up oh. or whatever and like press your head in, like into it. And it's horrible. It's, it's like hard metal and your head will always lose. <laughs> and, and the other one is that these doors will, will stay propped yes. sometimes, but then other times swing and like in some cases hit you with the sharp end. Yep. Yeah, the doors try and kill us. Yeah, so I always have to be mindful or try to be of like how I'm propping or using doors like that. I gotta get a which little is sad. of this like pinstripe because you don't see that on too many of these Honda elements. Like, I feel like it's like a rare thing to see that mm, Very auspicious. <laughs> nice. The much lauded pinstripe. <laughs> it also oh. has the uh, uh, the uh signature buffalo bills license plate cover because i'm from buffalo oh that's right yeah i forget that that's like a nice oh oh okay good we still have it yeah oh look at this right here <laughs> <laughs> where'd you get that i think i just got that from you someone super cool yeah gave I can't, it to and us it's orange too it's perfect yeah. uh we were just touring uh the element and, and whatnot and uh in the podcast we did we were uh, uh i was mentioning that uh, i'm a tattoo artist in orange california so i'll just show you a couple of tattoos i've done on myself uh yeah so i've done these handful here most recently i did this uh magritte recreation it's a, a really awesome surrealist painter that i enjoy a lot and then uh got a few here on this leg did these handful here and most recently this one yeah, so that one I gotta gotta finish up a little bit, and I've done a few on Gwendolyn as well. And start, we're still in the process of finishing about a few. About halfway through this one, but these are both done, and these are Carter. That's rad. And then also this guy. Whoa, that's really cool. Is that all of them so far? There's the one on the back of your leg too. Oh yeah, I forget. I always forget that one. It's on the yeah. back of my leg. Sorry. Yeah, this one right here. This one. This one we've been like working on for uh, a couple of sessions, but it's nearly done. Yeah. yeah. Solid. That's sick. So where can uh, if someone's interested, like, get some tasks for you? Where can they? Yeah, go? you can look me up on Instagram, LeBlanc underscore Inc. And that's L E B L A N C underscore. I N K. Nice. Yeah, Carter LeBlanc. And where can we find your skating videos at? Resting Skate Face on Instagram and uh, skate with a number eight. <laughs> nice. I'll, I'll leave a little link down below so you guys can check oh, that out. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> uh, thank you guys for showing us your rig. It was super cool to see. And um, we're going to do a podcast now and we're going to go over like what you guys do and why you do it. So if you want to see that video, just click the little bubble that's right here. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, we'll see you next time. Peace.